Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Tonight we're going to do a rapid fire of our Kodi add-ons 3 to Z and these are add-ons from the Kodi repository. And the first one we're going to be starting with tonight is Crackle. Now Crackle is uh, owned by Sony Pictures Entertainment so I wasn't really sure what was in this but it turns out it's probably worth keeping. So there's nothing to configure. There's no user ID or password or anything like that. Once it's installed and opened, you're, le you're given uh, movies and TV. So we'll go into movies first. And the first one I tried was under anime. And uh, yeah, let's give it a shot and it does work. And I'm not even using a VPN to do this. So once I saw that this worked, uh, I stopped it and I went to the next heading, which is uh, TV. And again, I uh, gravitate towards anime. So I tried that and I found Stein's Gate on there, which is actually a pretty good piece of anime. So I thought, well, what do they have? And they do have the whole series. By trying the first one, I was curious, is this really going to be Stein's Gate or something else? But I realized from the opening credits from Funimation and waiting patiently, yes, this is Stein's Gate. So, awesome, this add-on works. So let's try the other one. Now, creation today, and again, I am don't really care what the add-ons are. So if this is something you're not interested in, don't install it. Personally, I'm not either, but there are going to be others out there that might be interested in this. So once installed, I want to try the add-on and you'll see that, uh, oh, nightmares happen. So there was nothing to configure. I click the first heading. waited bided my time and tried the first video that was on there and it wanted to install YouTube because this was a fresh install so I decided yeah let's install YouTube so I did and once it was installed well let's say Armageddon happened my system froze up well Cody froze up there was nothing I could do besides going into my task manager and uh, shutting Cody down. So that's what I did. And then I restarted Cody, went to add-ons, and I saw that creation today was there, as was YouTube. So I thought, well, let's give it a shot and see if it works. And I again went to the first video under the first heading. And yeah, it started to play something. And yeah, there we go. That one works. So they say, let's try the next add-on. We went back to the add-on repository and we tried this other uh, add-on. And it pulls from YouTube as well. So Crossroads Church, will it run? Or will it break my computer like Creation Today did? Unfortunately for me, or fortunately, really depends on how you want to look at it, this add-on did not work. So I disabled it and we went to Current Time TV, which is Russian. Um, international TV channel, so I did not need to turn on the VPN for any of this. Now I went in and there's no configure. I did change my live stream quality down and I did change my archive video quality down just to give myself a little bit of an edge being that I have pretty slow internet where I am. And I went to all videos, where'd I go? I went to the first one. These are probably the newest broadcasts that they have on here and we loaded it right away, really quick. But I don't know Russian, so what I did is I just uh, got out of there and I disabled it. 
From there I went to DB, which is a French channel, and this one did require me to use the VPN. There was nothing to configure. I left the video type completely alone. So I opened it up. I had some problems. I tried uh, the very first heading. Uh, it wouldn't work, so I went to cinema. There was nothing there. And I thought, well, maybe, maybe it's VPN. So I want to look at this thing about tables. And I clicked it after I tried once and it never worked. So I went over to my VPN and looked up to France, got my IP address, and clicked the story about tables again. And click the first heading and there you go. A classroom talking about tables, I guess. I don't know much French. Daily Motion. Now Daily Motion is uh sort of like YouTube or Live Leak or something like that. It's a collection of uploads and short little things from various spots. There is a username in the uh, configure, but all I really did is I just changed my country to Canada English. And I opened it up. I went to the trending tab and clicked the very first one, which has got Dana Carvey in it. And yeah, it works. So this Daily Motion works, no problem. Set it up if you want it. It works without any issue. Looks like there's some good little videos in there. The next one I tried was uh, DZAN. Now, you will need a user ID and password for this. It will install Woodvine, which is actually used by the Netflix app as well. I believe this is a uh, anti-piracy software. I'm not sure, I never done the research, but it didn't work. And it didn't work because I don't have a user ID for that. So let me know if you know this network and you got it working. I just disabled it and I went to Disclose TV. Again, it's another uh, crowd sort of YouTube site. And uh, the add-on is basically based around YouTube. So I tried it, but it was another failure. Uh, under the configure, there wasn't really anything. So when I tried to open it and check the browse, I got headings, but I wasn't able to uh, play anything. I thought possibly it was a VPN problem, and I remembered, oh, I have my VPN hooked up to France. So maybe the first thing I'll do after I try a few more of these, maybe I'll just turn the VPN off, make sure that's not interfering with anything. But that didn't work. So now I was trying to DIY network, which is available in Canada. So I thought, well, we'll see if I need a VPN for this. This could be the American version. So there was nothing to configure and pretty much nothing to open. I was getting massive failures and I played with the VPN a little bit to see if I could get anything to work. It didn't work, so I just disabled it. I also had problems with DocuMonster. I installed it and I wasn't able to get anything to work. There was nothing in the configure. Uh, with documentaries I tried and when you see that network error right away that's when I realized I know what my problem is it's not connecting because it's in Germany and it's blocked so after trying a few and seeing nothing happening I was able to get it to work by fiddling around with the VPN but I ended up disabling it anyway this is dplay not really sure what it is it looks like it's um, it's a video streaming service. Well, let's give it a shot. And this was another one that uh, was really slow to load up and just threw errors. 
So DPlay didn't work, so I disabled that and tried DRTV, which is Danish. And I don't remember when I was doing this, I think I might have had the uh, VPN on still. So you might see me fiddle with my VPN and uh, go back to it being off. I tried this center one and I tried playing some stuff on it, but it just wouldn't play. And I kept getting these errors. That's when I decided that maybe it was a program error with that particular menu item. So I tried to uh, go back to DRTV, but every time I opened it, I would always come up with the very same items and nothing would play. Now I did have the VPN off and I was able to get something here to play, but it was awfully slow for me and I decided, well, it sort of works. So let me try Babar, which I used to watch way long ago here. Again, I played with this a little bit and there was just a lot of files that, video files that just won't work. Uh, Dumpert, I can't remember, did that work? Well, let's install it. Again, this one is gonna pull from YouTube. Some of the simplest add-ons basically just scrape YouTube for their videos. There was nothing to configure and I tried it within new because usually you'll see very stuff that the older the video files the more likely they're not going to be there and this one worked so again I don't really understand any of it but uh, if you're Dutch make hay while the sun shines it works mm, yes I realized I had my VP on well it worked uh, outside of the Netherlands so let's give it a try And yeah, it does. So you don't need a VPN to use this. Now, like I say, it's mostly Dutch, but you won't need the VPN. Let's try the next one. And Earth Touch and Earth Cam. Mm -mm, no go. And I don't think I've ever been able to get the Earth Cam to work. I did try. I tried a couple of the uh, headings, and there's headings there. There's stuff to to play, but it didn't work. So I tried to do the sign into YouTube to make sure that. Uh, it wasn't a problem with you, my YouTube settings. And if you don't know how to sign into YouTube on Kodi, watch my video on signing into YouTube. But essentially, all you really need is if you're on PC, open a browser, get two tabs going YouTube.com, activate, forward slash activate on both tabs, and you'll get set up pretty quick and you'll be able to. Uh, Use YouTube with your subscriptions that you already have set up and sometimes makes these things work better, but nothing worked. We even tried updating it and yeah, it was busted. So I just disabled it. They even tried the YouTube uh, one, just nothing. Zip, something went wrong. Now oh, yeah, so we're gonna go on to the East Anglian Film Archive, and this does work. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. It seems interesting. It reminds me of the, um, oh, one of the other Film Archive ones we did in the earlier video. I can't remember exactly right now which one it was. I went to Actuality, and I actually looked at uh, the 1953 floods in Gorleston, wherever that is, and it, uh, it worked. It started playing something in black and white. So yeah, if you like archived uh, older stuff, some of it quite interesting, I'm sure. That's a keeper. Easy engineering TV, fiddle, farted, screwed around with this, VPN, no VPN, and it shows headings, very new, March 26. But again, none of the stuff would load up. And it was interesting because I thought maybe this would be fun to look at because I like engineering. That stuff was interesting to me. And I also tried the uh, VPN, hooked right into 
I tried Germany, I tried Austria, and I tried the Netherlands. Nah, nothing worked, so I just disabled it. Uh, the England and Wales cricket board. I have no clue what cricket is. I know it looks a lot like baseball to me, but I'm probably going to get shot for saying that. Let's see if this works with the VPN connected to the UK. And give it a run. And it just, it wouldn't work. No, it wouldn't work. So, none of that. The last one we'll, for today we'll look at is the EEV blog. Again, this is another one that basically is an add-on built around YouTube. So once it's installed, we went, I went in and checked it and it works. No problem here, no VPN required. The one that caught my eye was the $18,000 14K monitor teardown from 2001. And it's literally like maybe a 26 inch widescreen TV that's running at 4K. No wonder it was 18 grand. Something tells me that was uh, like IBM. Definitely their monitor for making animation or special effects. Who knows what? I didn't listen to the whole thing because I want to get these videos I want to get this video done and out there anyway thanks for watching sorry this was so rapid fire uh, if you enjoyed the video please subscribe hit the notification bell share hit like if you absolutely did not enjoy the video well you're welcome to hit the dislike button I'm just glad you came along and gave us a shot everybody have a great evening